On the second day of the Daiwa Brim Series Daiwa event on the Derwent, the river calmed off and the fishing got a little bit tougher. Launceston Mercury dealer Zane Wyatt jumped to space on the second day and ended up in second place. And this was the first time he'd caught two limits uh, yeah, in a row in ABT yeah. events. Strange setup, isn't it? Huh? It's a strange setup for you. Yeah, Zane did all of his yeah. early damage on shallow diving zip bait yeah, jerk baits, but then later in the day, he caught his first yeah. fish and some absolute crackers on Eco Gear Aqua. Legend, Jared. Thank you for showing me that. <laughs> Going from this to this. And if you've got yourself a magic pontoon, you'd be stupid not to have another cast at it. <laughs> I took advantage of an early morning shallow water jerkbait bite on the high tide and then swapped to Callum Dow's magic muscle as the day wore on. For me, the jerkbait that was the most effective was Daiwa's 65mm double clutch. That's got some speed to it. Look at it go. We're going to cut that water. It's probably another squirrel though. Not feeling big. Get some way to it now. Often they're just hooked in the side of that pectoral fin. That's good because I never caught one on this wall yesterday. Oh no, it's alright. That's a first good one. Stay away from that pair. That's an upgrade. That's low to mid 30s anyway. It's hooked in the side as well. Come here, mate. 
Well, and he's into the net. I want five of those today, please. <laughs> yeah. That's a big one. On the double clutch. And never be surprised when weird stuff happens on the Derwent. Oh, do you see that? That is a brim ate it off the rock. Guarantee, it happens all the time in the Derwent. That is ridiculous. That was snagged on the bottom and the brim picks it off the rock. I'm not even surprised that happened. That just happens all the time down here. Doesn't feel like a giant. But he definitely picked it up off the rock. A little one. <laughs> you can see the cabbage where it was hung up. This is the fish that ate it. Another little one, he'll just be legal. That don't mean they're not under there. Let's see a few yesterday. Let's get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Not huge. Not upgrade something. Yes, that'll definitely upgrade something. That has to be 900, that. Whew, he got a bit bigger as he come in. But when you're structure fishing on the Derwent, you don't win them all. He was good enough to bust me off. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Shred of the whole leader. Big one. He's going down for it. This is the one I need. We can see him swimming down. He's got it. No chance. <laughs> Needed a stronger leader. But he was too close under the dock too. ABT debutant Dylan Lowe was holding down second place coming into the second day. He struggled a little on day two with smaller fish and wasn't running the camera all day, but here's one fish we caught him catching. Victoria's Steve Pryke won the last time we visited the Derwent, but today he caught most of his fish on the bridge and ended up in seventh place. Steve and Jesse Roten enjoyed a great day on the water with plenty of double hookups.
Oh, you're alright. Stay there. Good girl. Right. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if it's dies. That's even worse. I looked at one in that was bigger. Hopefully, it's a And while we're talking of Jesse Roten, here's his view of what went on that day, including his cracking 1.45 kilo oh. big brim, which yep. nearly took out the Buck and Big Brim title. Yeah. Good job, mate. Nice Good fish. Up. He's weighty. Oh, 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 got him. Yeah, yeah, oh, come off. You got one too. Very nah, big. he's ticked at the first little jiggle. Go on. Yeah. Why can't they be bigger and bite like that? <laughs> it's like three off one boat. <laughs> That one hopefully is bigger. Come on. He'll be bigger. They're all about the same size. Four of one boat. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I never caught so many off one boat. I've seen so many caught off one. And they're all the same size. Leave the net there, I'll go. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Look at that, the lure just fell out. Oh, shit. shit. That's a good fish, man. Thank you. What the hell? <laughs> shit. <laughs> it didn't even tick it, I just lifted into it. Bloody hell. <laughs> Have a look at that. <laughs> Yeah. Tasmanian local Josh Williams has a habit of finishing up the pointy end but also a habit of being the first angler out of the money. Here's some of his fishy caught on day two.
Josh was fishing with non-boater kayaker Dave Shanahan, who also caught some great fish and finished right up there. This event, the boaters fishing for five fish, the non-boaters only fishing for three. It's a new innovation for 2022. And here's Dave getting stuck into the action as well. Another one following it. Another one about the same size as followed him. And if you want to catch up with the winner's interview from the winner, Adam Crick, it's available on our website, www.abt.org.au, with all of the coverage from the Derwent.